In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we offer our holy sacrifice of the Mass in honor of God and in thanksgiving for the gift of a mother given to us, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Manawag. To be less unworthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon, peace, and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrows and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. John said, An angel showed me the river of life-giving water, sparkling like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the land down the middle of the street. On either side of the river grew the tree of life that produces fruit Twelve times a year, once each month. The leaves of the trees serve as medicine for the nations. Nothing accursed will be found anymore. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and His servants will worship Him. They will look upon His face and His name will be on their foreheads. Night will be no more, nor will they need light from lamp or sun. For the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, the God of prophetic spirits, sent his angel to show his servants what must happen soon. Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the prophetic message of this book. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the tops of the mountains are his. His is the sea, for he has made it, and the dry land which his hands have formed. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock, he guides. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Please stand. Be vigilant at all times and pray 
that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that they catch you by surprise like a trap. For that they will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape tribulations that are imminent to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today is the last day of the liturgical calendar of the Church. Bukas po, we would be celebrating the first Sunday of Advent. And as we all know, ang Advent po ang New Year ng Simbahan. Kaya ito po ang pinakahuling araw bago mag New Year. And it is not by chance that this last day of the calendar of the church, we are celebrating it in honor of God through the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our first reading is taken from the last chapter of the last book of the, of the Bible, the book of Revelation. At sa unang pagbasa po natin, narinig natin na describe ni John ang paraiso, the new city of God which would come after all the world comes to an end. Ang description po ng Book of Revelation, yung last book of the Bible, sa paraiso ay kaparehas na kaparehas sa description ng paraiso sa Book of Genesis, ang unang libro sa Biblia. And so we have come to a full circle. Ang paraisong nawala dahil sa kasalanan, ay muling nakita ng mga taong nanatiling tapat sa pananampalataya. My dear friends, it is in this context that the gospel for today reminds us, be vigilant and do not be drowsy. Let us not grow tired of doing good things and acts of love. Minsan kasi sa paghihintay, tayo ay nawawalan ng gana na magsumikap. Minsan sa ating paghihintay na dumating yung mga bagay na inaasam-asam natin, minsan tayo ay nang panghihinaan ng loob at pananampalataya. Let us be vigilant in listening to the will of God in prayer and in acting in accordance to that will. In this, let us ask the maternal intercession and direction of Mary, Our Lady of Manawag, our Apo Bakit, who certainly is a model for us in listening what God wills and in waiting for the fulfillment of the promise of God, in accepting this will and in acting according to this will. Now, until the end of time, this is true. The ending is also the beginning. Minsan hindi lang natin ito alam at hindi lang natin ito napapansin. Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. Please stand. We pray to God our Father to help us prepare for the coming of the Lord in our world and into our lives. For every petition, our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may not fall short in reminding the faithful concerning the need for vigilance, prayer, and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that as a community, we may not fail to recognize the coming of Christ in those whom we meet in the course of our day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show compassion to those who are experiencing difficulties in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the old, the lonely, and the sick may feel the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may meet Christ on their heavenly journey. Let us pray to the Lord. In silence, let us ask the Lord for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, give us a new vision as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request may be in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hands. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have got, done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray like Jesus.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, with accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Peace, kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amen at isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, may I now invite you to join in praying for the blessing and healing of all our sick uh, brothers and sisters in the congregation. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall also be praying now and asking the Lord to bless all our religious articles, rosaries, candles, oils, and others. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.